Dale was right. I didn't die. But he still called me a murderer. Alrighty, guys. We're going to do a first impressions flat top dominator combo. See what we're feeling here. Nice. Not crazy about the throttle, but I'm going to give it a go. <laughs> so you buckle in while you're sitting down on these things? Yeah. It's got the quick release. Oh, it's a little tight. We need to loosen these shoulder straps up. Oh, here, let me sit back down. It got me squished into the seat. All right. All right, then. Maybe reverse, maybe forward. We're right in between. Conditions are right in between. I'll do forward. It's weird leaning down on it. Give me a start assist. Yep. Uh huh. There we go. I have flown the Minari engine before. All right, gonna be a crosswind takeoff. Let's see here. All righty, Dominator flat top. I'm not gonna die this flight, am I? I can't hardly hold the ace. That's one thing that's showing up immediately. I'm gonna pinch him with my thumb. That's a little different technique than what I'm accustomed to, but that's all I got on this thing. And then I'm go. Okay, now the wind's straightening up. It's a right torque. Okay. Two, three, go. Yeah, nope, nope, nope. Come on, wind. Come on, wind. Yeah, yeah, flip it back over. We'll do reverse. The wing was kind of laggy. It didn't want to stand up real good. Can't hardly get the A's in my hands because, all right. We're going to kite it up. Get it where we want it. Light wind, flat top. Controls here. Some magnets. Maybe. I don't think they work. Okay, that one works. Oh, there they are. It's in the wrong spot. So weight shift only left. And weight shift's pretty good. Then we're gonna weight shift only right. And weight shift's pretty good. But the harness does feel so f***ed up on the ground. <laughs> I'd rather them feel better on the ground, actually. The bars have some sharp horns right here. They're poking me right in my biceps during flight. Now, certainly I can learn to position myself, but they stab. They stab me right those horns. You can't see them. I'll show you on the ground, maybe. The motor does have a lot of torque effect, so I'm gonna sit level and then. Full power. It's leaning me harder to the torque side. Let's shift to it. The Dominator feels pretty docile. I would expect nothing less. It's a copy of an LA glider. It's got four riser sets, trim tabs. Trims are all the way out on this wing. I'm gonna pull them in a bit. See how that flies different? So probably the reason the trims are out is because it was hard to pull up in a reverse or a forward. It's real doggy, it wants to hang back. It's old design. Yeah, those horns are really annoying. Like when I reach down to pull, my arm, I wonder if you can see it while I'm in the air here. Let me just show you, well, sh thermals. So I pull down and my arm just pushes right into that sharp ass point on these bars here. I don't, I don't particularly like that. You can weight shift away from the torque, but that's more of a manual compensation, I guess. That's uh, there's a contact point. Okay, I'm out of the seat. Let's see how she flies out of the seat on approach. I'm in a thermal. 
and I'm about to get dumped out right near the ground, which is fine. And the wind's changing directions. I may not like this. I may. Am I going to hit the hill? No, I'm going to float right over it. I'm going to lean to the right a little bit and flare. There's the end of the thermal. Oh, I don't like the way the thing hits me in the legs. So the thing does fly good, but it doesn't feel good. This motor doesn't feel good. It's awkward. It's heavy. It has pressure points and sharp spiky things that poke into my flesh. That's the reason I never even, and the throttle is kind of, again, I can't even pinch. If I want to adjust the trimmer, like I could, I could barely pinch it. Like, look at this. I can't hardly, can't hardly do anything. It completely takes my hand out of the game and forces it to be on the throttle only. So I'm going to land this thing right over here by Chick's car for him. So you don't have to carry it too far. Of course, wind conditions are thermals and changing. I'm in lift right now, of course. There's the kill switch. Got my finger on it. But I need a little power. Just a little power. Whoa. -ho. There's some lift. There's some shit. Thermal is going to dump me right at the end. I'm going to go around. And when you climb out, you got a little hard weight shift left to get under the torque. Which it does good. That's one of the pros. There's thermal. We'll turn away from the torque. Fucking horn digging in my arm. Ouch. All right, there's more of a south wind going on now. And when I dump the power, it immediately goes back to the right. I mean, it's not like loss of control or anything. It's just... I like a, I like a real loose weight shift. This machine has a loose weight shift. I like that. I like that. It's, the turbulence shows up a little more. See it bouncing around? Yeah. Okay. Hands up out of the seat. I'm going to kill it. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Flare. Oh, a little too early. Flare. Oh. And we're back to getting our legs beat up. Oh, f my calves can't take it anymore. Ah! <laughs> so if I keep my legs together, like nice and skinny, I can, I, I'm still, every step, I feel the frame bumping my calves. Every step. I feel that crumple zone shit. I don't know. I don't know what, I mean, I'm going to be walking with the thing more than I'm going to be crashing it in on a stall maneuver, so... Cobra. I could do a Cobra with it. Again, it's got pretty good weight shift. If I'm leaning forward, the thing's not hitting me. Yeah. Okay, stall. Come on, stall. Okay, there's parachutal. There's wind change. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it off. I just wanted to try it out. Yeah, I'm gonna set her down here. So the pros is it weight shifts really, really well. All right, that's, and, and I guess it is safe. That's a pro, we ain't gonna discount that. But you got these sharpened horns. Those things are digging into my biceps. Every time I turn, I feel that horn poke me right there. That's not comfortable. That, that I would not have like that. It 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 torques really bad, but it's easy to weight shift out of it. There's there's not much torque compensation as far as auto, automatically built into the machine. You have to manually compensate for the torque. Hang points were set up properly for my weight. Thrust angle was good. Probably the biggest thing, and and I put one of these on before. That was my first time to fly one, but I put one on and I knew immediately I wouldn't like it because of the way it felt on the ground. The seat board is digging into the back of my legs and these crumple zone things here are smacking me every step I take. When I lean back to a proper takeoff posture, those things are smashing into my leg every step and it's it's more of an annoying thing than a sort of deal changing game changer type problem, but it is annoying. 
it is annoying. I don't like I don't like stuff hitting my legs when I'm trying to run around. I like to be nimble, and uh, you know, on the ground is when to me is most important because that's where you get hurt the most. Up there, flying, I'm glad it flies good. That's okay, but nothing up there really hurts you. But when you're on the ground, if that thing hits your leg and causes you to fall over, I mean, you're gonna have bigger problems then. Pros versus cons, uh, you know, throttle, sharp ass points, things beating my legs not being super maneuverable on the ground those are all negatives in my mind the pros is that it is safe i bet it's got a really strong hoop i can tell it does by the design so if i try to squeeze it yeah it barely flexes you're not going to get any kind of but i've seen a flat top hit the ground and the prop go through everything same time so it doesn't make it bulletproof either strong hoop weak hoop just means that you can do a power forward it doesn't mean that it's going to withstand an impact into the ground where shit bends it's just aluminum it's going to bend really easy if you hit it really hard and i've witnessed it firsthand guy hit the ground so hard that the prop went through his bottom spars and his gas tank and karate chopped all of it wide open as he slid into his shitty landing they the dominator the dominator it's okay it's okay it's a safe wing again it's geared for a i noticed the trims were all the way out is that the way you typically fly it okay way in for flight and landing okay if you're landing in bad wind some people will trim back out so my feeling is that when they're all the way in it's hard to get the wing up properly that's because it's it's a sluggish, slow, safe wing. It's like having three inches of break. Yeah, yeah. It's um construction is acceptable. Good mallions, bands. Yeah, it's it's built to all the current standards. I mean, there's nothing nothing outwardly wrong with the glider, other than the fact that it's older. Doesn't have quite the shark nose design of the modern stuff. It does have a bit though. It does have a little bit. Um, it doesn't have the stiffening ribs on the leading edge to hold the wing shape. Again, that's that's kind of old school technology. They're putting ribs in all the new gliders now. All the big companies, all the new technical innovations involve stiffening rods in the leading edge. And this glider does not have that. That tells me it's an older, older thought out design before they did that. Uh, typically wings from the 90s don't have those stiffeners. But anything sort of past about, oh, where did I start seeing them? I'm not sure when they started putting ribs in it. That may be something to investigate. Now, when you when you talk about the price of the whole thing, how much was the whole thing as far as when you bought it? What, what did they want for it? Full retail is eight. Uh huh. And thirty eight. Okay, so so you're paying premium prices for old stuff is what it kind of amounts to. Even though it's new, I, I believe he he modeled this one off of an older like a Walker jet. Maybe I hear okay okay I don't, I don't keep up with all of it but that sounds right well, that's, a, that's an honest opinion on it outside of trevor being cool actually that's uh <laughs> you know <laughs> that's where i stand with the flat top i believe i believe it could be redesigned a little bit and have some some still some safety redesigns are hard they pumping these things out out of jigs if you're gonna change shit you got to rebuild the jigs that's tooling that gets expensive etc these are a little bit loose maybe might tighten those up, give you a little more. That might pull your arms a little further away from those horns. When I'm when I'm in it, being a big guy, when I squeeze, when I go to weight shift, my arm is here. Oh, okay. So you're not feeling the horn then. I didn't adjust the lumbar for you. Well, that may be that may be an adjustment thing then. But but being the wing is right here. Okay, so my arm. I mean, even if this is moved, my arm is still right here, and and I'm still. I'm still within contact range of this as far as my hook in point. Mm -hmm. Now moving it out where you're going to need to be, that is going to give you some room. And, and and as I was mentioning in the video, it's probably you just become accustomed to not pushing there. You'll you'll keep your arms sort of in a different place when you're braking. And that, that becomes sort of a, it hurts when I do it this way, this way doesn't. And your mind sort of does it that way every time. That was right. I didn't die. But he still called me a murderer. We can't be friends anymore. Love y'all. Call out. And as you could tell, I had a microphone failure right at the end as I was making a dig at Dale. Again, the guy who called me murderer, liar, says I'm going to kill everybody. This was many years ago, and I decided that I can't be friends with someone who makes judgments like that and says things that they say. Uh, this wasn't a hit piece on the flat top. You know, even, even if Dale was cool, I still wouldn't pick that paramotor based on that price point. If it was much cheaper, maybe. But that's it. That's it. There's nothing special about it. I mean, those bars that stick out the front for safety. I mean, when people fall down, they fall down. They, as far as the crumple zone and uh, being able to take an impact, well, I mean, they'll all crumple. They 
they're all got frames down there. So when they hit, they bend. But that's not, again, that's not any sort of reason to pay extra or anything like that. It's just a personal opinion. Uh, flew the paramotor, really felt it out. Tried to be as unbiased as possible. And that's where I stand. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. Pick what you want. I don't care. I don't care. I'm happy teaching people to do it with or without the type of gear they have. You got to make technical accommodations for when you use. In the case of the flat top, you know, maybe so. Maybe so. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Back to work. See y'all real soon on the next one. Much love. Y'all out. Set my, set my, set my, set my, set my.